Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today, I'm going to show you what a lot of rappers are doing behind closed doors. And I'm gonna show you how the way that they put the shit in your face. And then, you know, you know, say nothing about it. So I'm gonna show you a clip from White Chicks, from their transformation. And now this is gonna show you guys how these rappers are doing this. And I'm also gonna expose Jose, not in a bad way. Cause I, like I told you in the last video, some rappers are doing these things forced or they were tricked by signing their fucking name. You feel me? So in the movie White Chicks, it's these two, two cops and they have to go on a, they have to go on a mission because the, I guess the other two real white girls, they couldn't make it for some reason. So these two African-Americans, they dressed up as the two Caucasian girls to act as them. Now, this is literally putting it in your face in a way, but they're not telling you that the rappers are doing it. They're just letting you know that, oh, this is something that we're doing because you guys got to understand this. They have to put it in your face so you can deceive yourself. If they don't put it in your face and dead ass tell you, they're deceiving you. But if you can't see through all the illusions, you're deceiving yourself. How are you deceiving yourself? If you see these rappers doing something and you think that is cool and they're leading you down that wrong path, you're deceiving yourself for clicking on the video every day, giving him your energy and actually accepting what he's saying. Now I'm gonna show you the clip. Be there? Oh, they'll be there. Hey, Josh. How'd you like to be part of the team? Where are the white women at? Let's do this. seeing in that they did a whole transformation they did a whole transformation now that is just something that i want to show y'all just like a little a little key like that they're putting it in your face now i'm just gonna show you the resemblance if you guys don't know who Lil jojo was Lil jojo was a rapper like a little kid rapper Lil jojo was a little kid rapper who i think he did a drive-by on a bike and and died now i'm gonna show you a picture of Lil jojo and jose okay like and look you're gonna see the resemblance. Pay attention to the eyebrows and his eyes. The eyes always give it away. And it's like they didn't even try with this. This old picture, is the picture I'm gonna show you now of Lil Jojo is not Jase. It's not Jase when he was a kid. It's Lil Jojo. I'm gonna show you. Was a little Jojo as a kid. Now I'm gonna show you a picture of X. Now, the reason why I put these two together so you can literally see the resemblance in the eyebrows and the eyes. I'm going to be putting more pictures together of more rappers too, but this video, I want you to just focus on Jase and the roles that he play. 
Now, they say that Jose also played a role of Nasty C, but I don't, I, I, I can see a resemblance in it, but I can see that they tried to, you know, tweak with him a little bit because, you know, everybody would notice Jose, you feel me? But Lil Jojo was popping before Jose. And it's like, these kids are born into these lives. Like they, like some, sometimes these kids are literally born into these lives to act. That's what it all really is for them to act. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm gonna be exposing Kodak Black and Pee Wee Longway and also shout out to Conscious X. Conscious X, he put me on to all of this. Conscious X actually opened up my mind. It took me a while for me to actually agree with this and like go along with it, but you know, the truth comes out no matter what, you feel me? And the truth hurts. It hurt me when I found out that Jose was playing different roles. But like I said, you know, I'm not going to judge the man, you feel me? Like, even if he is doing all this shit to deceive us, oh, well, bro, at the end of the day, what is real, we're prospering. Like, and it's like, like with X, they call out for help, too. They really do call out for help. If they say too much, they really can't get killed off. So it's like this. Let's say I get famous now with my character now, and I'm doing all this spiritual shit, and I'm actually waking y'all up. Now, let's say I decide to get famous or something. They're going to, the, the people, my label will tell me, okay, bro, you was pushing too much spiritual shit. You got to balance it out. It's too many people, it's too many people knowing information that we don't want them to know. So you need to put out some fuckery shit. So fake your death and you're going to become a new rapper. And then it's going to be a whole bunch of fuckery shit. And then it's, it's something else like They'll try to trick you so you won't think that the rapper is another rapper by giving them, like, a fucking big-ass birthmark on their neck or some shit or, like, a big-ass birthmark right here. They'll just put little shit right there so you can never, ever see the rapper that they used to be. But you must listen to their vocals and shit. Also, Juice World. Juice World is lucky. And I'll make a whole new video on that. And shout-out to Conscious X. I'm going to put his shit in the description because he is the nigga that woke me up. He is the one that did the research you know, now I don't want to say first because I know, you know, he is the one that's actually wanting to wake people up. He is the one that's actually keeping the role going on because I guess somebody was exposing him at first, but he just stopped. No, you know, we got to get this out there. People need to stop getting deceived.